So I just landed uh, into San Diego and uh, had a quick 10 minute cab ride to the Shelter Island uh, Kona Kai Marina. Um, and uh, one of the neatest things about this marina is it's only minutes from a major airport. In addition, it's got beautiful clean docks, concrete floating docks. Um, the boats in here are nice, secure, gated. Um, and then it's minutes from uh, the, the ocean. Um, it's not in the inner harbor of San Diego. So um, my point of view, this is probably the preferred spot to keep a boat here in San Diego. Um, another thing is um, all the local, you know, West Marine uh, Chandlery stores are also just um, on the other side of the island. So uh, any boat parts that you may need will be right there. Just got to the boat and it's looking sharp. As for some of the specs, um, she has a Volvo D6, 440 horse. Uh, she carries 220 gallons of fuel to 100 gallons of water. There's uh, three staterooms, respectively a king, a queen, a twin mattress. And then there's two heads with two showers. Um, kind of unusual for a 40 foot boat. So typically I'm cruising around 17 to 18. Uh, burning 11 to 12 gallons an hour. Uh, if I slip back to the trawler speeds, it's about one and a half to three gallons an hour. So uh, no matter what the speed is, it's insanely efficient. All right, so here we are in the swim step. Um, this boat's uh, rigged with Walker Bay center console, uh, actually with a 20 horse. And for the additional weight, we added two winches uh, so it lifts with no trouble at all and then something that's less obvious with the extra weight uh, from an injuring viewpoint we added uh, this extra pod if you can see that on the transom for additional flotation uh, just to help the boat sit level with the extra weight um, kind of a spendy custom feature um, and uh, the owner's really happy with it. Uh, they typically uh, do a little sunset cruise sitting next to each other. Uh, this backrest simply flips up. Let me show you here. I don't know if it'll flip up with the davit, but you can see there, um, nice supported back. Uh, and it gets up and goes nicely with that 20 horse. Uh, moving here along into the cockpit, cockpit we have a built-in ice box. Under this hatch, we have access to our Kohler six kilowatt generator. That's a standard feature. You can see the strainer uh, and then the exhaust ball valve pickup. Um, nice clean bilge. This boat is showing like a new boat. Um, over on this side, we have our standard uh, cocktail table, folding window assembly and door. I'm gonna open up the engine, Laz. And then the wall opens up. If you've seen other tours um, of the, the C120, this wall comes off where we store the cockpit table. I lift this up. So this is the new D6 440 uh, that was redesigned uh, a couple years ago. Uh, it's white, kind of matches the rest of the boat. And you can also see um, our team uh, documents and labels the oil filters nice little touch um, over here we have snorkel pump water pumps uh, then the stern thruster um, because it is winter we do have heat down here just to keep everything nice and dry uh, but from a build quality you can see everything's nicely supported um, clean proud job tons of sound deadening so it's smooth and quiet and then another weird thing is we actually have machine labels um, if we look down here you can see we have a plastic label that's glued on it's not some cheesy paper plastic label that melts in the marine environment so moving along here I'm gonna do a quick pan of the cockpit and then I'm gonna walk along uh, it's got the Silver Guard glass, ceramic mirror finish. And then this bow seat that folds up. 
We installed the Lumar 1000. Open up the anchor locker hatch really quick. Quick detail on the, under the hatches, there's a raw water wash down for rinsing all your ground tackle. So a lot of space up here at the bow. This is a custom bow seat uh, that the owner requested. Uh, the back folds up and it gives you a really nice spot to sit and watch the sunset. It sits basically three people. Um, and then if someone's interested, we can actually add cushions over the whole, over the hatches and over the whole bow. Walking along here. See a really nice, easy walk around. Now we're gonna step inside the cabin. Here's the twin berth, uh, quarter berth that's underneath the galley. I got some of my gear there, but uh, this actually extends uh, right here over the step for the additional length to make it a twin. Back here we have access to all of the AC wiring. Behind the dash is all the DC wiring, but then Oops. Then we have all of our AC panel switches, generator to um, water heater, refrigerator, air conditioning switches. Uh, moving forward here in the galley, Force 10 gas stove oven, polished double polished stainless sink. Now, uh, at the factory, when you order a new boat, um, you get to pick out any custom tile backsplash of your liking. Um, the owner here picked um, some material from Arizona Tile. This is uh, called Abalone with um, the Witch Hazel Corian. Really nice color selection. And then of course all the boats come with ultra leather. Um, here's the helm seat and the dinette. The dinette seats also recline. So a lot of these features are shown in other videos. Beautiful polished teak table, folds up to make the coffee table, and it also goes up and down. This is a Novacool refrigerator and freezer, really efficient. Typically, they it's burning about uh, seven amps an hour. Um, takes a little bit more once you know just to get things cold, but once things are cold, it's really efficient. Um, going forward, we have the helm. We'll come back to this. Then we have all of our DC switches. Um, this is really handy. It opens up and the new Blue Sea System fuse holders, if you do pop a fuse, it has a little red light that turns on right in the middle here. Um, nice little feature. From a construction viewpoint, you can see that each wire is got a shrink wrap label. Um, it's also color coded and it's a home run from each fuse to switch to device. So um, a, lot of, a lot of energy put into this. Uh, then right here, a uh, charging station for the VHF radio. Um, super great for uh, the dinghy on uh, talking to the boat here, folks on the boat. Stepping below, Half we have the uh, one of the heads. This is the port side head, and you can see the custom tile there. And the shower. Here's the owner suite, king size mattress, and uh, some folks will do kind of the Jack and Jill thing with the heads, or they'll choose to use uh, one of the heads, uh, just one of the heads for a weekend, short weekend. So then we have to pump out one side. And uh, my favorite is the guy's side and the lady's side, which is kind of funny. We got the sliding helm seats. Kind of a choice that we offer at the factory. Um, you can get them bolted down. Here is the microwave. So here's a drop down television, 32 inch. units. It has an air to air unit up here on the flybridge. Um, the outlet is here in the salon. And then the second AC is actually right down here in the stateroom 
behind the, the bulkhead wall there. Uh, that's a water cooled unit. Moving along, here's the queen berth. Nice port lights. Um, right behind the shade here is a nice hatch for ventilation and additional light. It's the second head. Really cool tile. And they've got the acrylic door. I'll pass through. And there's shower curtains to cover this and make it nice. And you can see here's the other access to the owner suite. Right behind these panels is access to all the wiring, the dash. Generally, if I'm just sleeping, I prefer with my head forward to the bow, and then I can swing my feet over to the steps and step down really easy. Large hanging locker. A uh, little mirror here. And then this comes down. And then here's an example of the shades. And that's the... That's the owner suite there. So here we pass through. Just for reference, I'm uh, kind of a taller, skinny guy, 6'2". Um, pretty easy for me to walk through the boat. Nice little touch here is the uh, champagne and wine glasses. Uh, that's the standard feature of Aspen. So moving up to the helm here, we have a... Fusion stereo that links uh, via Bluetooth or um, XM radio, whatever you prefer. Um, I typically run with the Bluetooth, um, but uh, full Garmin suite, autopilot, radar, really nice uh, chirp transducer. Uh, we've got uh, 12 inch, 16 inch, and another 12 inch display. Up on the flybridge is an additional 12 inch display. And then we have the autopilot controller here, um, chart reader. We have VHF radio, ICOM uh, 506. And then uh, these are the two remote controls for the uh, autopilot and the uh, thruster remote. So the thruster remote gives you kind of that peace of mind in those um, situations, single handing, uh, windy conditions or, or when there's a lot of current. but. Um, yeah, it's really nice dash layout. Up above we have uh, our holding tank and water, fuel gauges, and our compass is center. Um, so that's the dash. Here we have nice ladder, really ergonomic going up to the bridge. And this has our new custom layout. Um, the difference being you have two helm seats, a larger seating area, big long pad. And All right, so here's the helm of the flybridge. Um, includes a chart plotter, a joystick control for the side power stern bow thruster, um, and then your autopilot control. Um, this has a full wrap around, and this table is pretty nifty. It's actually a it pivots in uh, three different positions uh, and then we have a sun pad aft. So this option is um, gives you the extra helm seat, uh, the swivel table, and then the sun pad is moved aft right here uh, for additional so space. Wildcat is currently for sale. Uh, it's right down here, as I mentioned, in Kona Kai Marina uh, with a transferable slip, which is super cool. Um, another big um, advantage to Wildcat is it's a rare opportunity to step into a C120. Uh, for a new build, it's typically nine to 12 months to take delivery. Um, so if you're planning to go boating this coming season for 2023, um, it's available now. Um, it's available by appointment to view and see trial. Feel free to call and learn more about Aspen. We have uh, a number of boats on display in our local marina in Anacourse, Washington. Uh, and then you can also tie in a f nice factory tour during your visit. Uh, thanks for your time and uh, come see Wildcat.